Namaste, dear friends. Today we are going to explore two more definitions of asana, which has been shared by our great Acharya Sri T. Krishna Macharya. Acharya Sri T. Krishna Macharya defined the asana in two ways. The first one is what he called as Nava Sharira Samskara. Asana is defined as a creation of new patterns in the body that replaces the old and not so useful or unhealthy patterns. So for example, if our posture is slouched, we do some asana to restore the posture to a healthy and more erect position. For example, if we are leaning more to one side than the other side, that will create imbalances in the body. So we do asana to restore this new pattern in the body. If we are positioning the body in a certain way, which makes the breathing pattern difficult, we change that posture of the body so that the breathing pattern becomes more smooth, etc. So in a certain way, the practice of asana is replacing the old and unhealthy patterns with some new patterns. And this is at a very deep level as well, even at a psychological or psycho-spiritual level as well. For example, if we have traumas we have experienced in our life, those traumas will leave some impressions in our body. So that will make us behave a certain way, that will make our body posture, body language express a certain way which may not be healthy for us in the long term. When we replace that with healthier patterns, our overall health improves and that is what we are doing through asana practice. We are replacing the old patterns which are unhealthy, which new and more suitable and appropriate patterns at the physical level, which in turn will have impact at the respiratory level, at the energetic level, at the psychological level, etc. So asana is not just impacting the physical body, but it impacts all the five mayas, five dimensions of our human body as well. So that is why he defined asana in such a manner. The second way that he defined asana is sharira anga vinyasa. Vinyasa means a special arrangement. Sharira anga means the limbs of the body. So essentially asana is a very special, careful, deliberate arrangement of the limbs of the body. See when we are practicing asana, we want to direct the prana towards certain places in our body so that that prana when it flows there will create some magic to heal the body of its sicknesses or traumas or things like that. So we put our body in these unusual positions. Most of the asanas are not the usual positions that we occupy in our daily life. They are unusual positions. But they are not random positions. They are very deliberate positions which we are choosing so that the prana is directed to certain parts of the body so that we become more healthier. We become more, uh, we allow the prana to flow more smoothly in such places in the body so that we become lighter, we become more healthier and we are preparing ourselves for much more deeper tools of yoga such as pranayama, meditation, dhyana, etc. So that's why asana is a deliberate and careful arrangement of the parts of the body and that is the second definition of asana according to our wonderful acharya, yoga acharya, Sri T. Krishna Acharya. Reflect about it, my dear friends. Namaste. Namaste, my dear friends. My name is Kaustuk Desikachar, and I'm the current lineage holder of the Vinayoga tradition. Thank you for watching our YouTube video today. And if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscription button nearby below. 
and also the bell icon so that you are notified on our up-to-date uh, uploads of our video. We happily upload each week at least one video and discuss fantastic topics about the traditional aspects of yoga so we can keep the learning as pure and as close to the source as possible. So join our community and let us spread this fantastic knowledge of yoga. And if you like our videos, please leave a comment about what you think. And if you don't like our videos, please also let us know how we can improve. Namaste, dear friends.